The 56-inch Virginia Highland is an industrial-style ceiling fan with a modern DC motor. The fan is rated for indoor use only and is remote control operated. The 56-inch blade span is perfectly suited for great rooms that are 20 feet by 20 feet or larger. The fan can be installed on regular ceilings or ceilings with a maximum slope of 18 degrees. The fan can also be used flush mount for low ceilings. Use the menu to skip ahead or continue watching for the complete installation guide. To install the fan, you will need a UL listed outlet box that is 4 fan support of up to 35 pounds. You will also need a stepladder, screwdriver, wire stripper, and electrical tape. Continue watching for the standard mounting instructions, or skip ahead to the flush mount installation section. Begin by turning power off at the breaker. On the canopy assembly, Twist and remove the canopy ring. Unscrew the non-slotted mounting bracket screws. Loosen the remaining two slotted screws. Remove the hanger bracket. On the hanger ball downrod assembly, loosen the set screw and lower the ball off the downrod. Remove the cross pin. On the fan motor assembly, remove the clevis pin and cotter pin. Loosen the two collar set screws. Guide the motor wires through the down rod and insert it into the collar. Align the holes, then insert the clevis pin and cotter pin. Tighten the two collar set screws. Slide the coupling cover, canopy ring, and canopy over the down rod. Reinstall the hanger ball, being sure to secure the ground lead, insert the cross pin, and tighten the set screw against the side of the down rod. At the ceiling box, loosen the two screws. Bring the hanger bracket up to the box and slide the slots over the screws. Tighten both screws securely. Carefully bring the fan motor up to the ceiling and slide the hanger ball into the hanger bracket. Turn the motor until the groove in the ball aligns with the tab in the hanger bracket. Now you can make the electrical connections. Use wire nuts to combine the ground wires from the down rod, hanger bracket, and ceiling box together. Combine the neutral wire from the ceiling box to the white wire from the fan. Combine the hot wire from the ceiling box with the black wire from the fan. If applicable, cap off any unused wires from the ceiling box. Wrap electrical tape around the connections to hold the wires in place and tuck neatly into the box. Align and twist the canopy over the hanger bracket screws. Insert the removed screws and tighten all screws securely. Align and twist the canopy ring over the screws. The fan is properly mounted and you can now skip ahead to the fan blade installation section or continue watching for the flush mount installation instructions. Ensure power is turned off at the breaker. On the canopy, twist and remove the canopy ring. Unscrew the non-slotted mounting bracket screws. Loosen the remaining two slotted screws. Twist and remove the hanger bracket. Remove the bottom canopy cover. On the motor, remove three of the six collar screws to make a triangle pattern. Place the canopy ring on top of the motor. Align the holes on the canopy with the holes on the motor coupling, then insert and tighten the three removed screws. On the ceiling box, loosen the two screws. Bring the hanger bracket up to the box and slide it over the screws. Tighten both screws securely. Bring the fan motor up to the box and use one of the holes in the canopy to hang it from the tab on the hanger bracket. Now you can make the electrical connections. Use a wire nut to combine the ground wires from the ceiling box and hanger bracket together. Combine the neutral wire from the box with the white wire from the fan. Combine the hot wire from the box with the black wire from the fan. Cap off any unused wires. 
wrap electrical tape around the connections to hold the wires in place, then tuck neatly into the box. Lift the motor, then align and twist the canopy over the loose screws. Insert the removed screws and tighten all screws securely. Align and twist the canopy ring over the screws. The fan is properly mounted and the fan blades can now be installed. Prepare a fan blade and blade arm. Align the blade arm over the desired side of the blade, then insert and tighten three blade attachment screws. Repeat the process for the remaining blades. Bring a blade assembly up to the motor and align the holes. Insert and tighten two blade arm attachment screws. Repeat the process for the remaining blade assemblies. The fan is fully assembled and the remote is now ready for setup. Begin by installing the two included batteries. By default, the dip switch will be set to zero for universal operation. Simply restore power to the fan and press the on-off button to start it up. If your fan does not respond to the remote, press the pairing button. If you are installing multiple DC ceiling fans or experiencing interference, you will need to set the dip switch to one for paired operation. With power off to all fans, Begin by restoring power to the first fan only. Within 30 seconds, press the Learn button on the remote. Repeat the process for the remaining fans, being sure that only the fan being paired is connected to power. Power can safely be restored to all fans once the final pairing process is completed. To factory reset the fan's programming, ensure the dip switch in the remote is set to zero. Disconnect power to the fan for a few moments, then restore power and press the Learn button. With the remote properly set up, the fan is now ready to operate. The on-off buttons toggle the fan function. Upon each startup, the fan will gently calibrate the blades with a gentle back and forth movement to ensure they will consistently run in a balanced and energy efficient manner. The plus and minus buttons allow you to increase or decrease the fan speed while the fan is toggled on. The Comfort Breeze button activates the Comfort Breeze function, a feature that produces a natural feeling breeze by alternating between lower and higher fan speeds. Setting 1 alternates through speeds 1 through 3, setting 2 alternates through speeds 1 through 6, and setting 3 alternates through speeds 1 through 9. The timer function turns the fan off after a certain amount of time has passed. The delay can be set to 2 hours, 4 hours, or 8 hours. Pressing the button a fourth time will deactivate the timer function. The reverse buttons change the direction of the fan rotation. For warm weather, the fan will spin counterclockwise and push air downward to produce a cooling effect. For cool weather, the fan will spin clockwise to cycle warm air off the ceiling. Note that the fan should be toggled on before changing the direction of the blade rotation. Congratulations, you are now ready to use your brand new ceiling fan. For technical support and assistance, please call the customer service number in your owner's manual.